What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Benji. We back balling. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe, Hoops HQ, uh, and follow Hoops HQ on social media platforms. We got S J S G A. We're checking out his highlights today, man. He's been balling this year, man. So I think that's the only way I you know, see how he's been getting it done, bro, this season. Because I think, honestly, the, uh, his level of play has been so good, I think that we've been kind of sleeping on the fact that he's in OKC. And, you know, they've been playing well. Like, individually and offensively, he's been well. But he's also been a player that, you know, since he came over there, bro, I think the Thunder has been, you know, they haven't necessarily had a large fall off. You know, so. Ooh. Oh, that was splash. I think like but I think like I said, based on his his, his his play and how successful he's been in the Thunder's wins, I think that he's been a sleeper when it comes to his MVP discussion because obviously the guys with the most clout are always gonna get the opportunity to you know, um get the name of these conversations, but I don't think that a lot of people are giving shot of credit that he may deserve. Work, work, work. Drive and kick. Keeping it simple. Oh. Work. And one. It's crafty, man. Just the little, the little things, bro. Get the contact. Let me get you out of my way to the other side of the rim. It's tough to defend right there. He's so crafty. But he he, he sneakily will just get buckets. Ooh! What did I just say? Let me get that real quick. I mean, just let the, let the man go crazy. Oh, and one. And one. It's tough, man. See, a lot of y'all talk about the NBA, bro, but y'all got to understand, bro, that these guys play with a lot of contact, and a lot of people are shy of creating, uh, making contact. Let's check out SGA. What's the stats talking about? He's averaging 30 a game. And six assists, shooting 53% from the field. Are we giving him the credit that he deserves? I mean, the Thunder aren't great, but they're not terrible. You know what I mean? Let me, let me just look at the Western... All right, so let's check it out right now. The Thunder, I'm sorry, in the, in the West are currently sitting in 12th position. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. So, obviously, I think for him to kind of garner the type of support that we're expecting of him in order to kind of, for him to eclipse guys like, you know, the, the fan favorites like John Morant and, you know, Luka and Giannis, he, I think he'll have to be exceptional, right? He'll have to be amazing in order to garner that. Because respectfully, oh, it's not my fault. Them being seven and 10 is not gonna help his case. Obviously, it's still early. But I mean, we got the Grizzlies in the seventh position, and everyone's talking about John Morant, and the Mavericks in the ninth position. 
so I mean, they're not really too far behind in terms of of how they're playing, but you know, it's, I like I said, I think we're going to have to make concessions here. How these guys are playing. Looks like the Jazz are the smartest people of the off season because what in the world? Look at the Jazz right here at the top of the conference. They got to figure it out. But the Timberwolves looks like they they made a poor decision. But hey, look, you know, like I said, this means nothing because this could be a completely different setup if we move towards the end of the season. But y'all, let me know, man. Does Shy have a shot at being MVP this year? Leave it in the comments below. Stay tuned to the next video.